Now, Business New Zealand has confirmed it is officially walking away from discussions on fair pay agreements. The organisation sees them as unfair and unlawful and believes they'll do more harm than good for workers. Is this felt all the way through the business community? Well, let's go to Small Business Voice CEO there, Max Whitehead, is with us this morning at Newstalk ZB, and uh, thanks so much for your time. Good morning. Good morning. What yes, is... um, I, I have to totally agree with Business New Zealand. I think they've done the, the, the best thing they could possibly do. This, uh, this fair pay is, is very, very much unfair, particularly for employers. Well, what is the goal? What is the idea that's being pushed here uh, behind these fair pay agreements? What are they trying to achieve? OK, for, for, it's, it's well recognised that within New Zealand, the wages are too low and we need to bring them up. Um, and that's been going on for a long time. So what this government have decided that the best way to do it is by compulsion. And we've seen them in recent times compelling people to do this, to lock down all these things. Well, this fair pay is going to do that. Whereas the unions will take charge. The unions will take charge of um, business places, negotiations with employees, and they will decide on what, um, and, and what, what they'll call it bargaining, of course. But the, the unions will be forced into um, workplaces. Workers will be forced to pay union fees, and employers will be forced to engage with unions and discuss pay levels. And the unions then will decide what's done. But what's worse of all that? It's done on a on a, um, a nationwide basis. So every business, as you realise, uh, every business is different. But what they're proposing to do is to treat them all as the same. So it'll be negotiated, for example, in Wellington. So the, uh, the government officials and the unions will sit down and then have a chat and go, all right, let's increase the wages. Should we go 30% this year or maybe 40%? And, uh, and of course, that doesn't fit for every employer. Um, every workplace... You know, from Kaitaia right down to uh, Bluff, whatever, it ma- they all are different. And, of course, that's where New Zealand's great for its diversity, and small businesses have that, that flexibility, but they'll lose that. Mm. Hours of work will be discussed. Workers won't get the flexibility they had before. They'll be compelled to just follow these written mm. rules that the uh, unions will negotiate on a nationwide basis. What's going to happen right through New Zealand will become a wash, earnings, envy, culture, so everyone will be looking over everyone else's shoulder going, how much are you earning? Oh, that's much. You're on one of those documents. Okay, we're going to uh, um, get our unions to make sure we're up to that level. And what's going to be failing here is productivity is not going to be a factor in this. It's going to be earnings envy. So who can hit the highest mark? And what we found in the 70s when all this was, was very, very vogue and they uh, had to put wage freeze in to stop it all is that we call it the ratcheting effect. One union will pick up the, the wage rates to 6% increase. The next one will go to 8%, and then everyone else has got to go to 8%, and then it just ratchets up, 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 up until inflation becomes out of control. Yeah, well, we, we do have that argument for, put forward, don't we? Uh, you know, a few years ago, a policeman was on X. Uh, compared to a teacher, oh, well, the teacher's got a bump, therefore, you know, the policeman... And, and, so, and back that to and fro goes on. How do we address low pay then if this is not the way to do it? Well, the good thing, it's happening by itself right now. So we've got is supply and demand. So right now in the the workplace, there are not enough workers. So employers are compelled to, to fight and argue over workers. And to do that, they're increasing pay. So it's happening already. So naturally, pay is going up and up at a very quick pace. Um, you know, even after lockdown, a lot of employers are suffering because they can't get staff. Staff are moving around more more than they ever did. And, and for good reason, because that's increasing their pay. So the market is doing the job? Yes, it's just lifting up right now. So uh, in the last probably 12 months, we're seeing it lifting dramatically. So there's no need for this. It'll happen naturally. All right, brilliant. Thanks so much for your time this morning. Max Whitehead, CEO at Small Business Voice. There's more to come this morning in the Mike Hosking Breakfast. He's with us.